In this demo, I'll show you how to use Clover, part of the Business Eye Bundle, to create a graphic web report using IBM IDB2 files in under three minutes. I'm going to open up the report wizard on my PC, and I'm just going to create a graph. So when you're working with Clover, you have the option of choosing the database you want to work with. We're going to select DB2. Then we have different themes or families. These are different colors, fonts, and logos. Now each template is completely customizable, and our customers can easily add their own logo at the top. And within each template family, we have different types of report templates, from standard reports, to drill down reports that go into the details, to spreadsheets, uh, you can also generate PDFs. And what we're going to look at now is creating a chart. We're going to create an orders by customer chart. So to do that, I'm going to walk you through the wizard steps which will guide us through this and automatically generate the report code. Now all we do here is put in my report name and the description. Uh, everything else is defaulted in for us, you can just ignore all that other stuff. On this page, if we wanted to have prompts for filter fields, such as date range or pick a customer, uh, you could do that by checking this and you would get an additional prompt for those fields. We're just going to skip that. Now when you get to this point and you want to add a report, if you're talking about a business analyst, an IT user, or an end user creating uh, these reports, you might approach it differently. Uh, if it's an end user, if they don't really know what a database file is, uh, they might want to hit cancel here and uh, they'd have two different starting points. They could import a query uh, from Query 400 uh, if that's what they're using, or they can have someone from IT predefine queries with Clover itself, and then they can use that as their starting point instead. In this case, I'm going to add the actual DB2 files. So I'll click Add, and then I'll browse the library for the DB2 files I want. I'm going to select the customer file and the order header file. Here Clover is asking me to link the two files. We'll use customer ID field as the link, so I'll click and drag it here to create the link. Clover then automatically creates an inner join in the SQL. Now it's asking which fields do we want included in the report. I'll select the customer name from the customer table and the order total from the order table. We want the customer name underneath the report and we want the order totals. If you wanted to add filters, maybe if you wanted to filter out open orders or closed orders, you can do that here. Uh, from a technical standpoint, what this is doing is actually creating a WHERE clause in the SQL. But again, the wizard is generating all that SQL for you. We're just going to skip that. And then we have the graph options. We're going to keep it simple and just use the 3D bar chart and hit finish. And just like that, we have a very visually appealing real-time chart over this DB2 data. Now all the end user needs is a browser to access this. In the next video, I'll show you how easy it is to share this report through the BusinessEye portal. To learn more about BusinessEye, contact us now.